Hey everybody, this is a Lego sorter and it sorts Lego by size. Let me show you how it works. So I received some very interesting questions and comments on social media about how this works in terms of multiplying Lego or having Lego already in the bins when I poured the Lego into it. I'm not quite sure why people would think that I would pre-stack the Lego trays with Lego to show the sorting. But As you can see, there's no Legos in the Lego bin for the Lego sorter. There you go. So all of the pieces on the Lego sorter were designed in Fusion 360 and milled on an Avid CNC machine. These cool little curves right here are designed so that the trays can stack together and lock into place. Here's a shot of the underside of one of the trays and how the bottom tray fits in with the curves of each one of the sides. And this, this also helps the trays to stack and to lock into place. These little wedge shaped details were added to the corners to increase the rigidity between the bottom tray piece and the sides. It also helps to move the Legos towards the center a little bit, but I think those details come in pretty nice. So let's take a quick break and talk about sorting by color. If you were to build a machine that would understand the difference between yellow and green or orange and blue, it would need to have some sort of a sensor or a camera to actually detect those differences in color. Unfortunately, I do not have the skills to build an algorithm or hook up a camera to sort by color. So this machine just, just sorts by size, unfortunately not by color. The holes on the bottom of the trays were also milled using Avid CNC and a 90 degree V-groove bit to give it this tapered angle. The patterns of all the holes and the sizes of the holes are different for each one of the trays, which really helped to separate the Lego. So you can see it does a pretty good job of sorting all of the Lego by size. It's not perfect. There are areas, especially on this tray, where it's catching most of the, the smaller to medium sized pieces. But for a general sort or initial sort before you start sorting by color or uh, by type, it actually works out pretty well. So one great idea that Nate had at Epic Bricks was to include a dirt sieve on the last tray. So you can see this is the base where the wheels are and this catches a lot of the dirt that screens through these small little holes and helps keep your Lego clean. Huge thanks to Nate over at Epic Bricks for requesting this project and for reposting all of the in progress videos on TikTok. If you love Lego, please check out his accounts on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. There'll be links down in the description. I'm also releasing all of the plans for free on my website. So follow the link below to get the plans if you'd like to build your own version. And uh, I appreciate everybody for watching.